Such a magical place, New York City. Welcome back to Fight Week on Fox. What we've decided to do, gents, is break down some of the greatest UFC moments in the Big Apple. And starting with this one, it's uh, Chris Weidman versus Jacare at UFC 230. A uh, terrific fight it was. All-American wrestler, jiu-jitsu, black belt. They just decided to brawl, basically. Rob, this was in your division. You were champ at the time. What are your memories of watching this live? Um, yeah, it was such a gnarly fight. They yeah. just... I feel like they... they I feel like this was the fight for both of them that really took a lot of their spirit, their soul out of themselves. Because both guys after this fight were, 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 were drained, they were weary. They, 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 their fight after wasn't quite the same caliber. You know, and I, I love the fact they just both decided to just throw bombs. Mm, <laughs> and what about this one? UFC 244, the BMF title. What about this? The, the press conference at the Brooklyn Bridge, Dwayne The Rock Johnson getting involved. It was just. Uh, an incredible buzz around the city. Tyson Pedro, what are your memories of watching this unfold? Man, I'm like obviously friends with Jorge and mm. it was awesome to watch, but just I wasn't expecting him to like pick him apart like that. I obviously know Date, uh, Nate takes a lot of damage, but uh, it's funny just watching those spectacles. Anything Nate's involved in, yes. <laughs> it's going yeah, 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 yeah. to be fun. Really disappointing way it ended, but gee, it was a, a really fun time in the promotions mm. history. Rob, uh, the next one for you. George St. Pierre's return. Um, this was a fight that you had a really invested interest in, of course. You were actually cage side for this. Oh, what can you tell us about your experience? Um, yeah, obviously I was very interested in this fight. Um, I, the way it ended it was almost like a story tale ending. You know, mm. I, was, I was very excited for that fight. But I've got to say, I, I don't think that's the best George St. Pierre we've ever seen because he, he mentioned it himself. He, he didn't suit the weight division. He had too much muscle mass and he, he looked a little, you know, a little heavy for that division because of it. The last one, Tyson Pedro, of course, UFC 205. This is one of those moments where you ask, where were you when Connor became double champ? Where were you, Tyson? Uh, I think I was at Peachtree Pub in Pedro. <laughs> uh, but nice. I, sw I swear Connor McGregor got me every single time. I bet against him every fight. And uh, <laughs> <laughs> I was just hoping every time it was like, I'd pick everyone against him and he'd just like break my heart every time. So obviously beat up uh, Alvarez here, which I just was not expecting again. But like I said in the last- It wasn't this a moment. To apologize to absolutely nobody. <laughs> The double champ does what the f he wants. I gotta say that was a like that was a silly fight. Like as in silly as in how good McGregor looked and how how good of a performance mm. he did. How, how well he exposed Eddie Alvarez. Interestingly, earlier that evening, uh, a fighter by the name of Habib Namagomedov had this moment against Michael Johnson, where he's talking to him, saying, "I need to fight for the title. You need to give up." Let's take a listen. Move, Mike. Michael should tap, or he's gonna break his arm. He's gonna break his arm. Hit is all over. Habib Nurmagomedov. Your guy, beginning of the year, he tapped like chicken. End of the year, he fight for the title. Crazy. I wanna fight for your chicken because this is number one easy fight in lightweight division. Wow. Talk about foreshadowing there, Robert Whitaker. Oh, he. It's, it's almost, you almost get goosebumps when you watch him, the way he rose through the division, just like his energy and his aggression and his, like that killer instinct, that absolute undoubted confidence in going in there and just doing what he did. And everybody knows what he's going to do, but nobody could come close to stopping it. And yeah, he was, he truly was a, a force to be reckoned with.